Tech to Run RealAgriculture.com is brought to you by Dow AgroSciences, bringing customer first innovations to the field. Sean Haney here with RealAgriculture.com and I'm at AgriTechnica 2015 in Hanover, Germany. And this is another Tech Tour episode. And right now we are in the Vatterstad booth and we are joined by Johannes. Hi. Hey, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you, Johannes. Okay, so we're in front of a very, very, very cool product. What is yes, it? it is. It's called the Sea Dye. It's a brand new product by Vatterstad, um, made together with Digitron. Yeah. And it's a system that counts all the seeds. And every single seed that you can see here goes through a transistor here and is make, making a little drop of the current. And in that way, we can see the number of seeds here on the display and you don't have to calibrate the machine anymore. So you just no, no calibration. No can, calibration. And we can accurately to the seed number itself, yes. seed per square meter. You, you can say here, go on settings. Do here 200, let's say 250 seats per square meter, return that, and everything else will the machine do by itself. No more measuring density? No more no, measuring nothing. I don't need any weight, no, not a thousand kernel weight, nothing like that at all. Okay. Yeah. So uh, a lot of the texture episodes that we do is we talk about increasing efficiency, adding productivity. This is really uh, increasing productivity to the, the highest degree because yes. we're going to get exactly the amount of seeds per yes. square meter that we intend to. Right. Okay. You, you got three things in that thing here. The first thing is it, it counts the seeds. It says if the culture may be blocked or not, if there's a problem, and it calibrates itself all together in this one thing. Okay, can you give us a bit of a demo? I can give you a demo now if okay, you want. Let's take a closer look. So, traditionally we have uh, been uh, seeding kilos per hectare. But the farmer, normally, he knows how many plants he want per square foot, square meter, or what area he's at. That has not been possible, so then we have roughly translated that to kilo or pounds per acre, or whatever we, we drill. Now we have the possibility to do uh, seeds per square meter, and we have a system that counts the seed and regulates the drill, so we get this. And the farmer, he starts his drilling with telling the system how many seeds do I want per square meter. This farmer, he wants 300 seeds per square meter. And if he wants, he can tap in what is a thousand grain weight. We can say here 45 grams, which is typical for wheat. That corresponds to 135 kilo a hectare or 135 pounds an acre. That's everything you do. He fills his machine with seeds and he starts to seed. And he has a very nice graphic here that shows if it's drilling or not drilling. Here we have around 100,000 grains wheat and it's very normal wheat. This system doesn't require any special sorted or graded seed whatsoever. We start to run it. Fan revs up to some 3,200. This red turned turned green. So normally the complete uh, field here is green. Is there a problem? Then it will uh, blink red and it comes up here. You have a problem in row number four, sorry. So then the farmer can look after the problem. We can see here how this is rolling. Here we see the seed. So now when a farmer meets a friend at the evening, he can tell him I've drilled 60 million seeds today. How much did you drill? So this showed by around 100,000 and here, oh sorry, we missed it with 488, so 100,480, that means less than half a percent off target. And we say we're happy if we can reach plus minus 2% when you make a normal calibration that we always done, then we might be in a range of plus minus 5%. 
So here we do it much better and with no effort. And the seed is sensed in those sensors here. And they are normally green. <laughs> if there is a problem, if they're blocky, they turn red. Blinking red. And if all are red, then it's a power supply problem. And that, the seed that goes here has phototransistors there that are lit by infrared lights. If a seed, uh, when a seed passes, the power drop. And we are counting the number of power drops. And those power drops are going down here to, to this Xbox and then goes further to the gateway in the system that talks all the time with the iPad in, in the cab. And we can deliver the system in two levels. One level is only seed count, seed sensing. So we see that there is a flow. And a higher level is really a software question where we count the seed and we, we rev up and rev down the motors. Okay, so clearly the seed eye is a pretty, pretty cool tool. What's been some of the reaction from some of the farmers as they're looking at it? Well, they were all like, is it really that accurate? Like, <laughs> I've seen other companies with trying also to solve their problem with counting seeds and don't have to calibrate anymore. And they were all very surprised positively that it was really working that good. So, okay. well, thank you very much for joining us, and it was uh, great to uh, get the demonstration. Yeah, but sure. You don't get the de you know uh, demonstration from the chairman of order of uh, Vetter said it's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, sure. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's again. another episode of the Tech Tour brought to you by Dowger Sciences Canada, and uh, that's Sean Haney signing off from Agritechnica 2015.